Hello, good to see you. My name is Mitchell Hepburn. I'm the solo developer of Cyberscape City and this is my YouTube channel. If you like what you see then be sure to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I've got a Patreon and a Ko-Fi where you can donate to the project if you'd like to help support it. You can also find me on Facebook and Twitter in the links below. But without further ado, on to the video. I'd like to start with an announcement actually, and that is that from now on, Cherokee will actually be known as Cyberscape City. That's right, I've decided to rebrand the project with a brand new name. And basically, there's a very simple reason for that. Cherokee is literally just a name that I made up. So think about it, right? How are people meant to find the game? Nobody is going to open up Steam or itch.io looking for new games and type Cherokee into the search bar because they'd have to know the game's name before they went looking. That is really bad marketing. They'd literally have to guess the random name that I made up, right? So the new name fixes that problem entirely. Cyberscape City. It will take a lot of getting used to, but it's for the best. When I first started the project, it was a college project and um, I wasn't really thinking about marketability back then. So when I came up with the name, it, it, it wasn't really for that. It was just it was just I needed a name for the project sort of thing, like a placeholder. So Cherokee, you know, the main character of the game, right? Boom, there you go, done. And um, I just stuck with it ever since and I've never really had to think about it. But now that I'm coming to like the Steam release, it's, it's sort of... I have to think about marketability now so yeah new name much better name because think about it right people are a lot more likely to search cyber when looking for a game like cyberpunk 2077 or to search city when looking for a game like city skylines so basically what i'm getting at is the new name will make it easier for people to stumble upon the game in a steam search the name is basically like Three buzzwords stitched together. So that's, you know, good. <laughs> good new name, better name, improvement. It's much easier to remember as well. It hasn't got any of those like confusing spellings in the title. It's like, I genuinely bet that half of the people that read Cherokee without hearing it said didn't even know how to pronounce it right. You know what I mean? <laughs> I've heard people mistake my game's name for Cherry Pie instead of Cherokee. <laughs> So honestly, honestly, it needed, it needed a name change. As well, the new name is just better at describing like the game's premise in general. The premise of sort of like a Matrix style series of virtual reality simulations all set in this like futuristic city. And like the game sort of explores like how all of this crazy advanced technology affects this futuristic city and the the way the culture and all of that sort of develops in it. It's, it's an interesting concept, you know, but it, it isn't really described by the old game's name. The new name, much better. Now, it's definitely going to take time to, for me to get used to it. I'm sure I'll probably end up calling the project Cherokee for like the next six months, but, you know, I'll get used to it. It's definitely worth it, even if it's a bit last minute. I think it's worth doing. Secondly, I'd like to talk about the big content update and the official Steam release that I had planned for the start of this month, or should I say the start of March, because it eh, didn't happen. <laughs> Mainly, I'm, I'm just gonna just like mention, I'm delaying it, right? Not by long. I haven't, I haven't even really announced it on like this channel, to be fair. So most of you probably didn't even realise, which is probably for the best, because I missed the deadline. But, um... Yeah, I'm planning an update for the, the demo on, on the 15th of May, as well as an official Steam release for the project. The pandemic, it sort of like messed up my work schedule a little bit because, you know, I'm a solo developer and instead of working on the game, I was freaking out about the pandemic. So I wasn't really able to focus on it as much as I would have liked to, unfortunately. Yeah, so sorry about that, you know, like in the meantime, I'm going to be releasing a few new videos about the project and hopefully I'll actually be able to get a, a Linux and a Mac build out as well. It's going to be hard because I don't have the ability to test on those systems because I don't own either of those systems. So you lot are going to have to be the ones to tell me if it works or not. So have fun with that. Tell you what, let me go over some of the actual content of the update that I have planned. So basically, I'm going to be releasing a new build of the game with an XP and level up system. 
that work is pretty much done already so that's definitely going in uh, I want to redesign the character models so that they're a little bit more like you know nice to look at I would say that's about a third of the way done at the time of recording um, I also want to improve the level design in two separate ways firstly I want to get it so that like the the detail in the environment it's not really there is it so I want to detail that environment make it a little bit a little bit more like I don't know I can add more details with like the buildings and all of that sort of stuff so that's that's one of the ways I want to improve the environment the other main way is that like because back in November when I was releasing the first playable alpha I was like rushing to meet deadlines I didn't really have the chance to properly use all of the mechanics that I developed so I want to properly use all of the mechanics I've developed. I want to actually have some puzzles and actually have like, you know, just more stuff going on. Better design levels, that sort of thing. I'm also going to be making improvements to the control scheme of the project. So I've done a lot of this already. I've just been like fleshing out the characters and their move sets and their gameplay styles a bit more. It's definitely a lot better to control in, in my current build than in the, the current like released alpha or whatever. I'm also going to be adding a new game mode, actually two. The first one is based on my entry into a game jam, the Epic Games Mega Jam in 2019. And that one is basically kind of like a, a horde mode and a tower defense mixed together. You have to sort of defend these generators from wave after wave of invading aliens so i'll be having i'll be including that in the game and then the second other game mode is 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 sort of like pokemon i guess because one of the things i've been wanting to implement for a long time is basically my own take on the chow garden from the sonic adventure series that's one of the things i'll be including in the new build and it's sort of like a turn-based combat thing kind of a mix of uh, Chao Karate and Pokemon in terms of like mechanics I guess. I also want to just like fix up some of the bugs that I found. I think there was a bug in the current build where like the, if you got in a car and then got out of the car and back in the car again it would start floating into space and I that's basically just a bug because I, I designed a space level in the game and I had to implement gravity mechanics for the car. So that, that's actually already fixed, but there's a few little bugs like that that I just want to touch up. I don't want there to be any bugs in my game, so any bugs that I know about I will be like trying to fix. Obviously like um, where where I've renamed the game, it's all going to be like rebranded in this new new uh, version. So it's not going to be Cherokee anymore, it's now going to be Cyberscape City and it's going to feature all of the new logos and that sort of thing. This new build is also going to feature a dungeon designed specifically for Known and his abilities. And this, this dungeon, it basically splits you up from the other two characters and forces you to navigate through it with just known. That's the shooty one, by the way, the one with the gun, in case you don't know the names or whatever. And this dungeon, it's, it's pretty cool, man. It's, it's designed... I implemented a similar sort of mechanic, right, where you have these pocket dimensions that are sort of like bigger on the inside than the outside. It's basically that concept expanded upon massively, uh, blown up into an entire dungeon. So that will be in the new build. The new build is also going to feature neutral player characters. That's right, NPCs. I've made a dialogue system for the NPCs that's sort of like modelled after the Fallout games, if you've ever played those. So you'll sort of have like uh, branching dialogue trees and, and skill checks and all of that sort of thing. I'd also like it if you were able to sort of like kick the characters around. You know, like in The Simpsons Hit and Run. Where you can just sort of like kick people. I, I, I like that. <laughs> I want that in my game. The NPCs also have their own radiant dialogue system. Which is basically like if, if you walk up to them. They might say like a random phrase. Or say if you approach them in a vehicle. They might be like yo don't hit me. Or something like that you know. And there's a similar system that I put in as well for the characters basically like if you're walking up to a, an element of a puzzle uh, the character might comment on that or like it on the environment or something it's basically just designed to like hint players in the right direction or like to help build up like the story and that sort of thing 
I also plan to add some like quality of life improvements, like an audio slider for the game. Um, the game now has a start menu. I've got options now that like uh, let you turn off controller vibration and change how strong controller vibration is. Um, I've also optimized like the wormholes so that hopefully levels will load in a bit quicker now than they did before. And I've basically just done like whatever I can. I just want to improve the overall experience for the actual Steam release because, you know, realistically, like most people haven't played this game yet. A lot of people still haven't had their first impression yet. And I want to make sure that when they do have that, that it's as good as it possibly can be. So I've just been going ham on this. I've been working as hard as I can to get a really, really good update done. So yeah, so May 15th is when that's planned and I should hopefully... I should hopefully be updating the uh, the itch.io release as well as releasing it on Steam for the first time. But anyway, I'll be going over all of that stuff in a bit more detail in a future video, so stay tuned, right? And then the last thing I want to talk about in this weird little announcement video is that I've actually been thinking for a while that I'd like to try and make some more content for this channel instead of just like doing one-off videos every so often. I'm not sure how realistic that is because I'm also a full-time solo game developer, but we'll see how it goes. I'll give it a go anyway. I'll try. At least I'll try. But uh, I have ideas for why I could take this channel and I'd be interested to try and at least have a bit more presence on social media. I came up with this whole video format and an avatar and a big list of video ideas. One of the things I've been thinking of doing is splitting my update videos on the project into like several smaller videos so I can go over everything in a bit more detail. And then another idea I had was like a series where I talk about like all of the various influences that helped shape the project into what it is today. And then also it also just makes a lot of sense for me to do like a let's play of my game, right? Like why haven't I done that yet, right? I should just do it, right? Just do it, man. Just do it. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see on that whole YouTube idea. I'm certainly down for trying. I don't know if it will work out or not, but we will see. Just as long as it doesn't take away, like, too much time from me developing the game, you know. Either way, I plan to release a few videos soon. One, just, like, a general update on the project. And then the other, like, a progress on, on something specific, like the City Hub World map. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Sorry if I missed yet another deadline. You're all very patient with me and I appreciate it. Thank you for watching the video. And once again, I've got all my links and stuff in the description. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe at your own discretion. If you have any feedback on what you've seen, then comment below. All feedback is appreciated. I hope you had a good day and I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you're staying safe in this pandemic. Have a good day. Bye.